What up YouTube, Agent Persuasion here, and I'm back from the next Kansas Regionals at Collector's Cash today, or now it's Sunday now, but I'm recording it now. Uh, I finished 9th place, finishing 6-2, playing one of my fun rogue decks like I always do. Here's the standing list right here, you guys can see. I got 9th place. I was the first loser. Uh, I was the uh, first X2 to lose. My boy Alfie got in 8th, and I was the next one. I was ninth, So that's okay, but... I'm pretty proud of what I did. Almost had back-to-back -back regional tops with Rogue again. I played Prophecy uh, or Spellbook. It's Prophecy or Spellbook. Spellbook. I don't even know what to call the deck anymore. Prophecy slash Spellbook. Both of them. Both of the cards in the deck. Uh, it's pretty much, I call it just Spellbook Prophecy Control because we're just playing pretty much Ride Jowgen for the win. Basically, that's your win condition. But I changed it up from my previous build I played in Tulsa, Oklahoma a while back. To make sure I have a, a, a better way to win. So I'm going to show you guys the list now. But before that, please go check my TCG player uh, link down below. If you guys want to buy any like Spobo cards, go down there. Use the link below. It helps uh, support my channel greatly. helps me keep making this content for you guys. I'll keep playing Rogue if you guys keep supporting me like this. I really appreciate it. So yeah, let's go into the profile of my X2 Regional 6-2 finish. Uh, the next to Kansas 9th place. With... Of course, spell books in 2019. So, first card we have the boss monster. This is the high priestess. I was playing three in my other build, but I just seem to find this card super cloggy when I, all I need is sometimes I just need one extra book. So I just cl cut it down to two. This card's amazing though. It's basically a dark arm dragon by banishing a spell book to pop a card on the field, and you can also inherently summon it by revealing three spell books in your hand and. Uh, revealing it to special summon it, which is amazing. This card, uh, pretty much spot removal for floodgates that I can't deal with, like anti spell, which is nice. Uh, that happened to me. Definitely dropped the priestess on that guy, and I won from there. So that was really good. This card's amazing. High priestess, and its artwork is literally one of my favorite artworks in the game. That she is so hot. Pretty, 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 pretty. Uh, two of those. So you can play three, but it just starts getting cloggy. You, you'll find out when you start playing the deck because we're always digging for cards. Um, we have. Three, Blue Boy, uh, Spellbook Magician of Prophecy. This card is amazing. When it's normal summoned or flip face up, search any spellbook in your deck. So pretty much this baits anything. You just normal summon it, activate effect, and if they do something, you can just get super pluses. This got effect vader in a match today, and that was pretty cool when I just spellbook and acknowledged it to draw two. So I'm like, that was sick plus. That worked out great. Um, so this card's amazing. You always generally want to open this if your hand's a brick. This card will fix everything because it gets secrets and it gets your fate loop going. So this card is a mandatory three of, um, and this is basically one of your wing cons by beating down because we don't have very many beaters in this deck. Um, and to round out the rest of the monsters, we're literally only playing eight monsters. The best monster in the deck is your wing condition. Um, as you guys know, Spellbook of Judgment used to summon this card, but we don't have that card anymore because it's for sure never coming off the ban list, 100% ban. This card is literally your win condition. Neither player can special summon when this card's face up on the field. So no no special summoning. But it also has this built-in effect just in case you lose a die roll, which happened a lot. I've probably only won three die rolls today, which is pretty sad. I can't win die rolls when I need to, and I can't lose die rolls when I need to, so it happens. But this card basically randomly discards a card out of your hand to pop off special summon monsters on the field. So that's really relevant when you're blinding second. The only problem with this card is Orcus and Dingrisu, because Dingrisu can protect, but if you can get up to the point where you can set up a fate and fade out way that Dingrisu, you can still summon this and still pop their whole board, which is insane. So a win condition of your deck, it's pretty much jogging control. This card's really old, you guys know what it does. It's amazing. Um, it's very small, but the point is, no, you, you can't play the game, which is amazing. So this is your win con. Eight monsters, that's, that's all I'm playing. Just eight monsters. It's pretty small, pretty tight. We're trying to draw spells in this deck, so of course we're going to the spells now. We have Spellbook of Secrets. It's so pretty. Look at these OT Germans I had when Spellbook of Judgment was at three. This deck was amazing for me. I love this deck. Um, so this this card searches any spellbook card. So awesome, uh, awesome card you can search is this. It gives you a monster. It is a Spellbook Magician Prophecy. So. Uh, you can search it with this, which is amazing. It's your monster automatically. It's a very good deck thinning. Um, multiple times is used with masters. Uh, this is one of the cards you definitely want to see in your opening. 
Just don't go against the Thunder Dragon Colossus because that is your worst matchup. Thunder Dragon Colossus with Spellbooks does not mix out very well for you Spellbook players out there. Just know that was one of my losses um, to my boy PJ. <laughs> I could not beat that deck. Um, two Spellbook Masters copies normal spells, so Secret is one of them. And then the next ones are coming up are um, the ones you can also copy. Uh, you can also reveal Blue Boy off of this because it's a spellbook card. So just know if you have don't have a spellbook card to reveal, you can reveal the Blue Boy because he's a spellbook card. Um, you only need two though because this just gives you extra copies of cards that say once per turn, like secrets. So to that, uh, your targets for the Masters are also here. This is your spellbook of knowledge. This is your D draw. This card basically helps you dig for Jalgen as fast as possible. Uh, always want to see Jalgen. We're digging regardless how as this is how I got to play under Colossus is this is the only card you get to play because you can't search but you can draw. So this card's amazing. Um any hand trap on your blue boy is amazing when you can just go send it to the grave draw too. Um this card helps you dig. Amazing card. Um and it's broken in this deck because you can discard spell books the real way. You don't have to send spell cast or you can ditch spell books and you play a lot of spell books, so that works out great. Uh, we got two attorneys to get recursion for the fate loop. Fate loop is how you win. Uh, you're just grinding out your opponent out of resources. Uh, this gets back a banish card. You only need two. Just be careful. Don't ever banish two or you're out of the game. Um, one spell book of power. This is the last card that you can master. So you got a lot of master targets. You got eternity. You got knowledge. You got um, secrets and power. Power for that. Getting your monster bigger than other things and searching whatever. Uh, one of the most important cards in your deck. Spell book of fate. I cannot let people know how broken this card is. You banish one spell book when you have a face-up spellcaster to return a set spell trap from your opponent's side board to the hand. You banish two spell books. It can book a moon or book a Teyu monster. If you do three, it's a banish any card on your opponent's side of the field non-targeting. So this is amazing. This card is how this deck wins. Um, spell book of fate at three. Um, when you're in a really good position, you can set up a fate on your turn and still have a, a fate for them next turn. On your uh, when you end your turn, really amazing card. Spellbook of Fate is why this deck is good. Um, one wisdom. Um, honestly, want to cut it. The format keeps changing to like grinding decks, but like grinding decks play strike, and strike doesn't help me in that instance. So like, I might cut this, but like this card was okay. It got me through a crackdown against a sub terror guy, and that was pretty good. But other than that, it was subpar. It's good though. Uh, it's just a forbidden lands. Um, one of the best cards. Uh. In your deck to keep you grinding, out grinding your opponent, Spellbook of Towers, extra cr uh, draw card on your standby phase, and if they pop this, you can special summon up to the level of number of spellbooks in your grave. So you can, if you have three, you can special summon Jalgen if they just MST this or Twin Twister it randomly. But this card's amazing. Gives you a lot of advantage if it sticks for more than one turn. Uh, the best card in the deck as well is this card. Uh, any control deck out there right now is playing Pot of Extravagance. This is basically D draw. Uh, I've been playing this in Cosmo, I've been playing this in this deck, like, this card is in almost all my road control decks. D-Draw is amazing, that's all I need to say. And cool interaction with this and this. Standby phase, you still activate this to throw back a card to draw a card. And sometimes, and, and then right after that, you just rip into this and you're like, oh snap, it's still the start of my main phase. So you can activate this and draw that turn as well. Because this is before this, so this doesn't apply the effect to where you can't draw no more. Um, there's that. We got two Potter Dualities because I really don't special summon. Like at all, so this card this card helps you dig for Jalgen uh, turn one. Uh, it does not beat Colossus though, so just know it's pretty bad against Colossus. Um, and now we're getting to the spice. We play set rotation because we have a lot of field spells. We have the two Grand Book spell towers, and then I played two spicy spiel, uh, field spells that won me a lot of games actually. So the first one, Secret Village. Uh, this card's pretty much an auto win against most decks. Um, it's mainly there for Sky Striker because it's one of my worst matchups, but this card is amazing. Uh, it won me two, a few games against two Draco because they're worms. Funny enough, they needed to draw a monster without using Diagram to search it. They just had to hard draw it and tribute a spell to pop this, which took way too long for the people that I played. I played two, two Draco, so this was a bad matchup for me, but luckily I had that. Um, good card. And the next card I have, just in case I lose a die roll or something, or if I can stall for a couple turns, Mystic Mind. Um, this card shouldn't be in the game, so this helps unfair uh helps fair decks play against unfair decks so this card's amazing mystic mind you can set rotation out you can metaverse it out uh amazing all right the pro this is the spicy tech of the day um 
this is the card literally everyone read. I just kept telling them this is the Duel Links card. <laughs> so, <laughs> this card is pretty much how I protect Jalgen. Um, <laughs> everyone read this card so pretty much whenever uh, a battle is uh, uh, declared with a guy equipped with this, I get to place a counter on this card. And then I get a 500 attack and defense boost on the, my monster that has this equipped to it. And if you would destroy by battle card effect, I can move a counter off of this card instead. So basically, my optimal opening is literally just like a fate play with for two, and then having this in Jalgen and its grand book spell tower ready to go for the next turn. So that way they can't spell summon, they can't attack over to kill it. Um, they pretty much have to play a monster to attack it because they can't special summon. So this pretty much gets a counter every time. Or if I blind second. It's good because I can just swing into an open field or swing into their monster, get a token if it's in defense mode, and I won't have to burn the token because it won't die by battle. But this was the MVP of the the death of the day. This is say this saved me and helps you kill them faster because before the deck just only poked for blue boy a lot. So this card put pressure on your opponent by doing light point damage. Power of the Guardians was MVP. So this and Jalgen is very hard to deal with. Um, Twin Twister is a good out to this, but you know they gotta have it because if they don't, they can't special summon. Alright, next up is the Solemn Brigade. Shout out to my brother behind the camera for letting me borrow this because I didn't apparently have any. So I played three rarities. I played Ultra, Super, and Rare. Um, this card is in a control deck. It helps me beat the card that uh, uh, pretty much obliterates me, which is evenly matched, and some Twin Twisters at certain times. So this helps protect my setup, uh, or protects you from normal summoning against my Jalgen. I can stop it if your guy's bigger if I don't have protection. Uh, this card's amazing in this deck. Control decks are really good right now in this format, so as I proved, get 9th place with just spell books. Um, and the last card is Metaverse. Uh, it searches out those cool text field spells, and just in case if I don't have towers, I can get the towers if I need to, but Secret Village is a win button, so is Mystic Mine. Um, shout out to, I think Zach let me borrow this. Zach and Kyle Teske, uh, all you guys helped me borrow stuff, and James, and I was borrowing stuff from everyone. Uh, so extra deck, um, sorry, I gave back a Mud Dragon to James Led. You can blame him for having a proxy. Um, I was borrowing after the regional shout out to him. Uh, three Mud Dragon, because we don't even use our extra deck. It's pretty much super poly targets again. Um, because I was lazy from the Cosmo switch over, so I just pretty much played the same extra deck. Three Petter Pant, Dragus, uh, whatever. Uh, Starting Venom, shout out to Julian for letting me borrow that. I'll get that back from tomorrow. Um, amazing. Two Borlo Furious Dragon. I, f I still feel this card will come up one day and it'll be amazing. Just don't want to ha not have it. Uh, Hierophant never came up, but he's pretty much a heavy storm. Amazing card. Um, of course, the new Link Monster for Prophecy, uh, Crowley. This came up. I probably made it three times. Uh, those times I never just saw Jalgen at all, and it had blue boys and priestesses, so that just worked out. Uh, card's amazing. It's pretty much a crescent on legs, and you can normal summon... Uh, Priestess without revealing spell books and then or without tribute, good card. And the last generic card, Nightmare Phoenix. So extra decks really pretty much not even important. You don't need it. It's just extravagance. Uh, draw card bait. Um, for side deck we play two Dino Wrestler Panker Tops. Amazing going second card. Just need it. Um, shout out to Jesse. I'm still borrowing his Nibru's. Uh, I cited two. Uh, one of my losses in Swiss, I lost to myself because I got greedy and I didn't Nibiru him when I saw a Borload and a Galatea and he instant fusion. I didn't think about it. I said instant fusion's good, but he summoned Wind and I couldn't activate Rock no more and I lost that game. That was one of my losses was Orcus and my other loss was uh, Thunder Dragon. But I lost to myself by not activating this because I got greedy waiting for the instant fusion guy to come out. But Winda, you cannot activate this under Winda because it summons twice, so... Uh, my misplay. I could have got top 8, but you live and you learn. You gotta know. So, when you get greedy, it happens. Uh, 3 Twin Twister. Obvious. Good card. Uh, 2 Super Polys. I didn't play 3 because Jalgen is literally a walking freaking Super Poly. He just outs my boards for me or doesn't even let you make a board. So, I cut Super Poly to 2. Still shout out to Scotty for letting me borrow that. Um, Here's these. Shout out to the guy at Collector's Cash that gave me one of these because I didn't have it. I was asking around for it. Um, I forgot your name, but you know who you are, brother. I appreciate you giving me this, hooking me up. Um, Dark Lord No More. Um, in theory, it's great. It's pretty much for Thunder Dragon because I need to negate Colossus to play. But this didn't come up because I didn't draw it. But it's it's good in theory. Uh, same with this. 
And the spicy card, because my deck grinds and controls a lot, we have the cheesy time win. We played Emergency Provisions. If you guys watched a feature match, I think it was around like four, I think. Three or four. I had a feature match on the collector's cash thing, and I won with this. So if you guys want to watch that, link will be somewhere. I'll probably find the link for you guys so you can check it out and check it out below. But this card, uh, you send spell traps to the grave, and then you gain a thousand per spell trap you send. So I gained 4k in time. Yeah, it doesn't happen a lot, but like I just have it just because like my deck doesn't deal damage to people. So this is just a cheesy win. Um, all right, so that's the profile spell books in 2019. Here you guys go. This is the list I played going 6-2. Um, let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys make any changes, uh, I'm open to you guys helping me with the deck. I like it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll take ninth place. I'm not mad. I already got my play mat, as you guys see from my Cosmo deck. So I'll take it. Um, shout outs to Kyle Shook for driving me, his brother, PJ in our car, uh, all of our Wichita peeps, all of our local peeps, Tori and Jer, Bear, Scotty, Jesse, I can't even name every Julian, like, shout out to all you guys, Kyle, a lot of Kyles, um, but you know which Kyle I'm talking about, Kyle, like Fro Kyle, yeah. Alright, I'm tired, uh, I'm gonna pretty much sign off on that, give me a big smash on that thumbs up button for playing Rogue. Once again, the Regional Warriors here for you guys. I'm here for you guys. I'm here trying to let you guys know you guys can play whatever you guys want. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Asian Persuasion signing out. Peace.